Hello Collective, it's me Alex, well, once again here with the uh, Collective reading. I'm reading now with my teeny cards, my light seers and my rider weight. Um, this isn't anything reading, anything God Angels Universe wants you to know. Well, hello Tower card, I haven't seen you in so long. Scorpio, Pisces, oh, Capricorn, he is just good. He's just good, just good. That's that temptation, baby. Hoo wee. Mm hmm. Just lickable. The moon, but you scared. Oh, child. Mm hmm. Y'all got somebody flirting with you? Hold on. You got the six of wands and the six of pentacles. Uh huh. Okay, wait a minute. This reading is good. But I didn't even get the download yet. I gotta focus on this reading, and these just fell in my lap. Okay, what is going on? What is going on up here? <sighs> okay, page of cups, that's new love. Um, angels are saying that could be a proposal. Hey, proposal for marriage, proposal for moving in, proposal for a job, proposal to get go into business, ex a college acceptance, you know what I mean? It could be any sort of uh, dream coming true message I feel like it's coming in right on time this tower and the eight of swords is like I was at my wits end mentally I didn't know what to do my head was on fire I was overthinking over analyzing I didn't know what to do and it's like kaboom you get this message um, you get this notification we'll call it six of pentacles six of pentacles is um, charity right six of pentacles is you know, having a little surplus and giving that away. You know, you ain't giving a whole bunch, but you know, you're giving a little something. There were disagreements about the imbalance. King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. Yes. My two favorite kings. Mm-hmm. The moon. We got the moon now twice. Ooh, Pisces and that's also Cancer. Hold on. Hold the phone. Take a message. Because you got these moon cards near the devil. So you got the five of wands and the six of wands. You're pissed off because somebody was shortchanging you, right? They were, you had a serious pro problem because somebody wasn't doing their share, right? We supposed to be equals, right? You provide the money, I provide the love. But somebody was doing a great job of providing the love. Maybe not so much with the money doing what they say oh that's why this job opportunity or this notification comes in at the right time because this person was almost running the risk of being cut off okay i don't even have to put any other cards out Ooh. okay Ooh. come on now let me shuffle them again and we'll cut seven of cups yeah 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 some let me talk somebody just dodged a bullet Mm-hmm. They sure did. <laughs> this reminds me of the movie Disappearing Acts with Sanaa Lathan and Wesley Snipes, where he was like a construction worker and she was an educator. Long story short, they started dealing with each other. He was um, talking about all his hopes and dreams and she was busy excelling at her job. She was, you know, in the uh, top, top of her field. And it's almost like as she started to excel, he was, you know, kind of going deeper and deeper and deeper in the hole. You know, um, they wound up have, uh, she wound up getting pregnant and I'll just leave it there because I don't want to spoil the movie. It's an old movie, but um, that's what this situation feels like. It feels like, somebody's not doing their part and it's causing a rift in your relationship rift rift one of them right in your relationship somebody is at their wits end whatever this you know there's love here don't get me wrong but show me the money right like I, baby love ain't gonna pay the bills this feels like education this feels like GED, general, general equivalency Diplo diploma. 
here in the States, when you drop out of high school, um, you can go back and take your GED to get not your diploma, but an, an equivalent of your high school diploma. It's the same as your diploma. One just basically says you graduate and got it. The other one says you dropped out and still got it. Mm. This is somebody's spe uh, specific situation. It's almost like, yeah, things are going great for this top person. But the bottom person, it just kind of feels like they, they're they losing their way. I don't know if you guys are married. You're planning on getting married. You're in a relationship right now. There could be alcohol or possible, you know, some other substance abuse, pills or weed or drug. Weed is not a drug. Um, but other drugs, right? Other um mental altering substances. This person is afraid of being, of learning how good they can be. They're afraid of success. Interesting. And that is a real thing, right? We get nervous, we get nervous about failing, but we also get nervous about succeeding as well. I think the fear of success is worse than the fear of failure, right? Because, it, you know, we've all failed so it's like, uh, I'm disappointed. Ah, that hurts. But that fear of success, we don't get to feel that too often. So it's like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, oh shit, is this really happening? The devil and the um, empress, I don't like seeing these two cards together. Because I feel like somebody is being a drain on queen mother. This empress, I feel like in this situation... This person, male or female, has to do it all. They're taking care of everything. Um, and it's almost like you're pissed off and turning bitter because maybe the agreement in the beginning was that we would do it together, right? Each other. Then, you know, one of you guys kind of lost your way. One person took, took the reins and started paying for everything and doing for everything. But whomever that was, they're burnt out and ready to let this shit, let this shit go. So I feel like they're needing you to kind of up your ante and contribute as you said you would. But all angels also said too, pay back the money that the other person has, has spent to, um, you know, kind of keep the household in order. I feel like whomever this is, who's kind of maybe procrastinating or stuck or scared, they don't know how to tell you that, that they don't know how to communicate their fears to you. And here's what's unfortunate. I feel like they should have done it back here, right? Because the devil's sitting over here, which means that as time went on, somebody is now again, bitter and scorned. But if they would have communicated it back here, it might've been received better. Okay, now that they've waited until somebody's good, hot, fiery, and mad, um, I don't, I don't know if the, if their communication will get around this person's anger or through this person's anger. So it's almost like that devil energy is like blocking, um, any sort of communication coming from the person who got stuck. I'm going to read this another way because I'm being told to. Yeah, somebody's afraid of the unknown. I feel like somebody's afraid of emotions, afraid of exploring their emotions. Somebody is self-medicating here. Somebody is self-medicating, right? Um... I feel like this is very imbalanced and one-sided, right? Because the devil, he's a drain, right? He's just draining all of your positive energy. Well, this is queen mama. That's queen positive right there. That's a divine feminine, right? She's the birther of things. So as she's birthing them, he's draining them. You know what I mean? Um, can I say he's taking advantage of her? Uh-huh, I could. Can I say that he is neglecting and taking her for granted? Yeah, I could. Can I say he's very toxic? 
yeah, I could say all of those things. Yeah, and somebody's afraid. You don't know how you're going to get past this. You don't know how this is going to work. How are you guys going to survive? I don't feel like neither one of you, I don't feel like there are any issues in the love department. I don't. In the love or, you know, right? These are two kings. They're like equals, right? One is coming with compassion and understanding. The other is coming with truth and integrity and action. But I feel like one of you guys is not doing enough and that's causing a riff. They can't get out of their head. But uh, uh, it's almost like they're crippled by their past, right? And they can't get out of there. Now with the Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, oh, maybe your person's problem is that they feel pressured to do what they think they have to do instead of something they love to do. So maybe that's something that you can talk to them about. It's like, babe, all right, well, you said you were going to get your, you know, CPA, your certified public accountant's license. And if that's not what you want to do anymore, that's fine, right? But what is it that you want to do? What is it that you love to do? Well, babe, you know, I wanted to go and be a mechanic. Okay, cool. Well, let's do that. Let's pivot, right? Because I feel with the double moon, it, it almost kind of feels like you guys are afraid to talk to each other. Somebody's afraid to reveal their true feelings and their emotions. And with the Page of Cups and the Four, four, so, four of Wands, not swords or pentacles, um, I feel like I feel like this is this can be worked out. This is this can be rectified. I just feel like you guys need to be able to talk without all, all of this, right? Without all of this. Somebody feeling heavily resentful, right? And then not having the patience to talk to you anymore. Angels just gave me two other storylines. Somebody could be overworking, right? Taurus is famous. Taurus and Capricorn are workaholics amongst other signs. Um, and there could be a drought in the love department, right? Um, that's one storyline. And then the second one is maybe this King of Cups is the dreamer. You know, every two, four, nine months, they're coming up with something else they want to do as an occupation. And that is annoying the fuck out of somebody. Six of Pentacles, five of Wands. That's why I'm basing this and saying, or that's why the storyline here is some sort of disagreement about finances. Six of Pentacles is right there. Six of Pentacles has everything to do with financial reciprocity. We are talking about a couple, right? Could be roommates, could be brother and sister. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Could be familial, friends, it doesn't matter. But I feel like the Four of Wands is representing some sort of home or living commitment that you guys have made that is grossly out of balance right now. Why do I have the Romance Angel cards in my hand? Angels are saying in case it's a romance, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, this thing, this, whatever this is, feels like it's festering, right? In other words, y'all are both scared to talk to each other, right? Resentment, impulsiveness, anger, argumentative, you know, things of that nature. But you need to talk to each other. You really need to talk to each other. Not only that, but eight of swords, only sword on the table. Yeah, right? So I kind of feel like, yeah, there's y'all may not be on speaking terms. Live in the same household, not on speaking terms. Y'all need to talk. <laughs> Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Well, there you go. A lot of you guys may be in this situation because you saw your parents go through this situation. Or you grew up with gender, uh, is it gender roles? Oh, the man is supposed to do this. The woman is supposed to do that. This situation is like, where, who, what man, when? <laughs> Finan uh, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I can't make this stuff up, guys. I can't. Okay, last card. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. 
I feel this card is again rekindling your original promises to each other right like you don't want to do the CPA babe I don't care be a pilot right we can pivot but I need you to be somebody because I need some help with these damn bills mm -hmm. I know that's right bills ain't gonna pay themselves I wish they did but they don't meditation brings answers before you guys talk to each other angels are also saying to safe space so you guys could also agree to get therapy angel I just heard one of you guys saying uh-uh I ain't flipping the bill for no therapy I'm already paying everything else okay that makes sense y'all need to have a talk though whether it's with a therapist or not can't make this up it's not the right time Tem tempers are running high right now okay not only that ladies and gentlemen non-binaries please don't come for me please I can't stand when people do that all right here I go again with my rants I can't stand when people are angry about their situations and they come for the messenger I'm just the messenger I don't know you right I didn't do this stuff to you so don't come for me <laughs> it's coming abundance is coming but what's blocking you guys right now is all this tension within the next few weeks yeah you're gonna have some sort of solution to your finances all right collective i'm gone <laughs> this situation triggered me and it ain't even my situation anyway if the reading does resonate don't forget to like subscribe and comment i love you guys bye